A millionaire tech founder gives me some game-changing advice I have to follow. A content creator with a million subscribers tells me to do the exact opposite. My ADHD brain tells me I need to do all of the above at the same time right now. Naturally, I end up doing nothing. A few weeks ago, however, I found this insane AI prompt on X. This prompt will change your life. Act as my personal strategic advisor with the following context. You have an IQ of 180. You're brutally honest and direct. You've built million dollar companies. You have deep expertise in psychology, strategy, and execution, etc. Your mission is to identify the critical gaps holding me back, design specific action plans to close those gaps, push me beyond my comfort zone. And for each response, start with the hard truth I need to hear, follow with specific actionable steps, end with a direct challenge or assignment. This post had over a million impressions. Endless comments about how AI said exactly what people needed to hear. Intense. Maybe I too would learn something. I brain dumped a couple paragraphs about my existential struggles, asked it for a one week execution plan and let Claude, ChatGPT works too run wild. By the way, if you want to try it yourself, I link the full prompt in the description below. AI solved my problems, part one. Fair warning. If you ask AI for brutal honesty, you will get brutal. In just three seconds, this non-existent personal strategic advisor cracked open every hint of my perfectionism, fear of failure, anxieties, procrastination, and focus issues in the name of billion dollar efficiency. A short snippet. Here's the hard truth. You're stuck in planning mode because it's safer than execution where you risk real failure. On Monday, record and publish one YouTube video on the system I built to manage ADHD as a tech professional. On Tuesday, newsletter planning and creation focused on the same topic. No excuses, no extensions. Send me the metrics next Sunday with a screenshot of your analytics. Anything less than full execution is failure. Not inaccurate, but ouch. I told Claude to name this persona Dan. Outsourcing my executive dysfunction to AI part two. Dan understood the assignment. Dan gave me straight truths. Dan also hurt my feelings. Sure, I could be motivated by guilt, fear, or disappointment, but what if there's another way? I've been going down the ADHD rabbit hole recently, so I asked AI to create a new advisor, Karen. Exact same credentials as Dan, except Karen is a certified ADHD coach. Karen's ADHD optimized one week plan. Set up for success on Sunday and Monday. Create a distraction-free recording environment. Schedule two 90-minute blocks for video creation where your focus is naturally strongest. Prepare a simple template for your video. Intro, three points, conclusion, topic, one ADHD system that changed my tech career. Two, batch similar tasks on Tuesday. In the morning, record your video during your peak focus time. In the afternoon, do minimal editing. Your perfectionism here is a trap. Choose just one system from your own life to share this week. Don't try to be comprehensive. What reward will you give yourself when you complete this week's plan? Did AI just make me feel calm? Very interesting. Part three, my personal AI psychologist. At this point, I was fascinated. Two seven day AI generated plans created intensely oppositional feelings. Dan made me feel like I wasn't doing enough, but it was certainly motivational in a no nonsense kind of way. Karen made me feel less overwhelmed. I felt clarity on how to move forward, but possibly a little too comfortable. There's more. Enter AI Alec. Alec is a Harvard trained psychologist with a PhD specializing in ADHD, especially inattentive type in women, according to my prompt at least. I asked Alec to analyze the differences between Dan and Karen's approaches backed by ADHD research. This is what Alec pulled up. For Dan's approach, multiple hard deadlines without scaffolding. Fails to address ADHD time blindness, which creates a binary now versus not now time perception. Emphasis on metrics and consequences. Overlooks how punishment triggers anxiety and threat sensitivity in ADHD brains, while research shows positive reinforcement works significantly better. Multitasking expectation. Ignores evidence that task switching is particularly inefficient for people with ADHD. Reinforce perfectionism. Increased pressure typically leads to more avoidance, not progress. In contrast, Karen's approach. Energy aligned scheduling. Scheduling focused work during peak energy times addresses fluctuating attention patterns in ADHD. Built in reward. Dopamine deficient ADHD brains typically require stronger than average incentives to see behavioral change. Task batching. Reduces content switching, which is especially challenging for ADHD brains. Accommodations for perfectionism. Perfectionism is one of the most common ADHD cognitive distortions that triggers avoidance and procrastination. So these similar seven day plans could apparently have drastically different impacts on an actual human being, not just according to AI Alec, but according to real research on real humans. I tried this prompt in an attempt to get my questions answered. And ultimately I realized there's no one size fits all approach. A billionaire AI or human can give you advice all day, but that doesn't mean blindly following it will actually make you successful. Even if you have ADHD, your ADHD will probably look very different from somebody else's. Anyone you talk to will have less context than you. So did I hack my ADHD? In a way, 
Yes. However, you owe it to yourself to understand how your unique brain and body work. So if you're looking for the answers, you're in luck. Nobody else has them but you. Comment down below if you've used AI in some crazy way like this. And again, links in the description if you want to try the prompts yourself. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.